chef Jesse Shanker prepares a wild arugula salad, sweet shrimp spaghetti, and a pear and apple dessert. Sounds yummy. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks a lot, my friend. Up next, his restaurant has been called one of New York's 10 most exciting places to eat. Chef Jesse Shanker prepares some sweet shrimp spaghetti. Sounds good. When we come back, looks good, too. You're watching The Early Show on CBS. Judging by his antics on Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay is one tough boss. Chef Jesse Shanker learned his trade at Ramsay's London restaurant and lived to tell the tale. Now this rising star runs his own eatery, Reset, and it has been called one of New York's 10 best. Today as our chef in a shoestring, Jesse will prepare a three-course meal on our shoestring budget of just $40. Now viewers at home chose the main course, and this week the voting came down to the wire with today's dish winning by just 25 votes. Uh, pretty close. Jesse, hey, thanks for coming no in. Worry. Thanks for having this me. This has been a great week for you. It has been. First child born last week. Yes, very exciting. Congrats. Eddie Harris. James Beard Foundation. Best rising, best chef, best rising chef, Nomination. right? correct and best restaurant correct as well congratulations yes yeah, thank you very much yeah not bad at all yeah really good very exciting all right let's get down to business what's on the menu uh, today we're gonna make a uh, wild arugula salad with uh, kumquats some ricotta salada some toasted hazelnuts okay and spaghetti with sweet shrimp and uh, a nice tomato sauce and then a little pear and apple compote all right let's get going what's yeah. first all right so what we do here is we're gonna make the uh, lemon vinaigrette for the arugula it's very simple mm -hmm. um, so a little bit of lemon juice okay so you can probably take the juice of one lemon mm -hmm. maybe two depending on how many you're cooking for here. Um, a little extra virgin olive oil. Okay. All right. And then usually like, I would say three to one, oil to, oil to lemon is the way to go. If you like it a little more sharp, um, you could do that as well. Okay. Um, we'll whisk that up. A little salt in there as well. Correct. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll take some fresh mint hmm. and just pick it in there. Mint is really good. It helps, yeah. you know, really liven the salad. Now, what do you like about arugula? Um, arugula, it's, it's got a very bitter, I don't want to say bitter, it's like very peppery, and it's it's, it's probably my favorite lettuce. Right. Um, so we'll take some of the salad mm -hmm. um, right here. And then we got some kumquats, which we roast. Now, kumquats are like, uh, it's almost like a little orange. Yeah. Um, but what's good about these is you, is you can eat the skin and the and the seed. Uh -huh. okay. You, you want to try a piece, actually? I do, I do. I, we'd like to try yeah. that. And that mint in there is going to add a nice little touch as well. The mint is going right. to add a great little touch, correct. Mm. So they're really Pretty bright. Good. Yeah. You roasted these. Roasted these. A little bit of oil, a little bit of salt. Oh, yeah. uh, like 350 for like five to eight minutes. Really easy. Okay. Um, and then some hazelnuts, which we've lightly toasted. Um, you can crush them by hand oh, yeah. or with the bottom of a pan or something. And then again, if you're allergic to these, you don't have to put these in. You don't have to put the nuts. You can replace oh. it with any nuts you want, actually. Right. Um, and then we just top it off with ricotta salada. So it's like fresh ricotta cheese, but they press it, right? Mm -hmm. um, really good. And it just adds a nice sharpness to the to the dish and really ties it all together. Excellent. Excellent. Really, really good. And put like that and you put your, your dressing on it? Yeah. Is well, I got to ask you, working at Gordon Ramsay's uh, restaurant, is he a tough boss? Um, <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I, he wasn't really around that often. Uh -huh. I mean, he's a lot of restaurants and a big empire to run. Right, right, right. Um, but yes, he was definitely very, his expectations and standards are very high, and it was a really great experience. Mm. Really, okay. really great. All right. Um, so here we go. A little All right. Arugula. Let me try a little bit of this before we move over to the spaghetti. Nice. Yeah, and then we you add, can taste that mint. Oh, the mint really comes through. It's mm. great for sure. Okay. Okay, yeah. so over here we have, uh, you want to get like a nice a pan, like medium high, not too hot. Mm. Um, By the way, if you're hearing these sounds behind us, there are animals in the studio for the next uh, segment. It's not my stomach. <laughs> Growl Not your stomach. <laughs> yeah, not my stomach. So you don't want your pan to be too hot, right? Um, so what we do is we make a little bit of garlic oil, mm -hmm. which at a time, so you can, you can like chop some garlic, put in some olive oil, keep it in your fridge, and it's, it's perfect for this dish, really easy, and, and it can last for a, lot, right. for a long time. Um, so you get some fresh canned tomatoes like so, mm -hmm. uh, really good, good, good quality from Italy, okay. and you can crush them with your hand, you can put them in the blender, what I do, is I actually put in the blender and see how it turns orange because yeah. it incorporates air. Oh wow! And it really gets really, uh, okay. really delicious and sweet. Um, so you got the garlic with the oil, and then we put the rock shrimp in. Mm -hmm. Careful here. Yeah. All right. So you can use any shrimp. I mean, when you go to the store, a lot of the, a lot of um, shrimp are usually uh, frozen, which are quite good. Right. Um, but you can use them fresh as well. Um, you want to make sure they're odorless. It should smell like the ocean. It shouldn't smell. You know, like anything at all. All right. Um, then you'll add your tomato, like so. Um, a little bit of fresh basil. Okay. So you just shift and add that really nice. Mm -hmm. Nice brightness to that. Um, and yeah. any pasta, gotta have Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. You got some chili flakes over there. Chili that's, that's flakes as well. Later? Correct, okay. yes. All right. 
Um, so the chili flakes, what you want to do is you want to add just a little bit at first, and then you want to yeah. taste the sauce to make sure, sure it's not too spicy. Do you intend this to be a spicy dish? Is that the um, idea here, just to taste? Just to taste, exactly. Right. I mean, I like a little bit of chili. You don't want to really overpower the shrimp. Mm -hmm. um, still, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty mild, um, but it's totally up to you. I mean, okay. you can add a lot, a little bit. Yeah. Um, now, you see the shrimp cook really, really quickly. Mm -hmm. Comes right together. Um, so I pre-cooked a little spaghetti here. Uh, al dente, of course. Al dente, of mm -hmm. course. I would say, <laughs> if the box says nine minutes, cook it for eight, and cook it for a minute in the sauce. Ah, okay. That's the trick. Right, good tip. Like yeah, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. So now we'll just incorporate it all together. Mm -hmm. I hit it with a little bit of lemon juice right at the end. All right. Okay, and that brings the shrimp and, and lemon love, uh, shrimp love lemon, you mm -hmm. know, it goes really well together. Okay. Um, a little bit more basil at the end. Like we're done, so. right? And that's it. Okay, looks good. Looks like we'll plate that in just a bit, but let me get to dessert. Okay, so dessert. Okay. So we, what we have here is some apples and pears. They're great. Um, dice them up really small. A little bit of uh, butter in the pan, some sugar, a little bit of cinnamon. Perfect. Let oh, it cook perfect. for four to five minutes. That? And you got this right here. And then we just take it, some really good haagen or any kind of ice cream at home. I mean, okay. it's perfect right on top. It, it, it's just... Mm. It's a great addition to uh, All right. to any ice cream or any... Uh, My cohorts are going to come in now. Yes. Yeah, uh, please come try it, guys. And, uh, and sample it some of this. Smells delicious. You guys are sampling some of that. I want to go to the cost breakdown right now. Let's see how you did. Of course, okay. <laughs> big big stuff here. You got, you know, big prize at $37.87. I think this is going to be great. Let's see the total for oh, this it's, year. It's got to be on the podium, right? Number two. All right. Oh, yes. nice. Look at that. You made it. There you go. Fans, fans, huh? Gosh. Yeah, it's a big week for you. The baby, the, the awards, and now you're number two on this our list. This probably ranks yeah, on top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You should buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. 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 It is a time now for you to decide what's on the menu for next week. And here are your choices. For braised chicken, call star star zero one. For pasta with sausage, you can call star star zero two. Remember, don't text. You just have to dial. And for chicken with capers, call star star zero three. Yeah. Standard data and message rates apply. Okay, what do you guys think? That's terrific. Mm. Amazing. This wow. Is, this is very nice. We're going nice. to have spaghetti for breakfast. The animals animal go this way. Right? would love this. <laughs> would love this. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, I'm just kidding. Breakfast, we've <laughs> of, the th of the three choices that we gave there, which one did you like the best? Did you, anyone in particular? Uh, the chicken sounded great. Chicken really? Sounded I'm not a caper yeah. kind of guy. I love right. capers. What is I the brightness about it? It's great. Really? We don't want to influence the vote. Tell us what you like. Again, congratulations to you. Thank you so much. A thanks fantastic, for me. fantastic week. What? More success to you. Yes, thanks really so much. Wish Great work. You can find Jesse's recipes at cbsnews.com/saturday.